everyone, it's Cece. Welcome to today's video and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, if we're doing something new, if you are new here, then give it a thumbs up, take a look around, consider subscribing. So I know it looks like we are doing some RTA and we're not quite there yet. <laughs> So like you guys have been asking for it and RTA is something I'm gonna ease into but it is like a whole other world and there is so much to take in and like consider when you're doing it. But obviously the best way to do it is to like play it, to learn, to practice, right? So I'm gonna ease into that but I thought for today we'd do something different and check out some like top replays and see like what people are using. So we're gonna do that. If there's anything I've noticed it's LD units in RTA and I don't have those so <laughs> but what I do have is Miho and she's one that's used a lot in RTA right like we all see it I'm sure you've come against it so we're gonna look at some of those kind of matches and see how like Miho does let me know your thoughts on her I already know some of them <laughs> and Beast Riders as well I feel like Beast Riders are like popular units that have been used hey nice Young Hong right on the Beast Rider Ooh, getting rid of Vanessa nice and early. Don't want to worry about her passive. Ooh, that stun. Oh, and Miho back at it. Nice. Ethno with that stun, right? How much defense break? That's what I'm saying. I'm not ready for RTA. And Sierra. But with them against Miho, like Miho could essentially like solo this whole thing right now. I mean, she won't because they have other people on the board, but I feel like they'd have a hard time getting rid of her. Because you definitely build the Beast Riders to crit, right? I feel like there's like so many different ways that you can use a Miho too. I find like I do see her in a lot of different comps, so let's see. Ooh, you already know where this is going between- <laughs> Oh, there's Miho in there with Garo in them. Yeah. Ooh, and Neff. Oh, he's got no immunity though. The two of his units have- she's gonna go ahead and clear. Of course, she's gonna be faster. Nice freeze. Ooh, needed that for sure. Oh, look at all those debuffs! <laughs> So many. I mean, like, Tiana's gonna be able to clear those eventually, right? But. There you go. Use the set, set everyone up. Nice, got the silence. And Hather is gone. The glance. Glance on Brad, that's it. Oh, I'm surprised it didn't crit there. I mean, that's one thing you can do, right? Like, build your units with, like, lower crit rates so that you don't hit... get, like, affected with Miho's passive, right? Ooh, that vile proc. That was a good one. Needed that sounds for sure. Brad being MVP here. Can Miho solo right now? With that crit. And oh, Miho got it. <laughs> right there, one of the reasons she's one of those units, right? All right, and let's see how this one goes with her. So Hathor. I do have Hathor on my alt, actually. She's a unit that's used a lot in RTA as well. Hmm. Maybe I'll find some team comps with Hather. We'll see though. <laughs> and we have, oh, we have Nikki on the other side. There you go. Is Miho doing her thing? Didn't counter there though. Clear up immunity. 
Ooh, nice stun, nice stun. And sleep. And got Triana's passive out of the way there. Rook's pretty much dead, there you go. As long as you keep the... Ooh, I mean, yeah, I was gonna say Nikki asleep, but... There you go, yeah. <laughs> One of the most important stuns, though. There you go, Verdi's out of the way. Oh, he's just gonna clean up now. So many stuns from Rika, too. There you go, there's me. Oh. And got Triana's passive out of the way. Probably finish off Nikki, like, additional, there you go. And then between them and Triana, it's GG, she got it. Or he, they got it. <laughs> Alright, who are we pairing up here? So, Bastet, ooh, we got Neff on the other side. There's Miho, Beast Riders, Diana, she's another one too. You see her a lot, but let's see Miho. Your thing, I'm pretty sure. It's always iffy with me hoes, right? <laughs> there we go. Back bar up. Nice speed tuning. Ooh, that damage! <laughs> and Miho to finish off for his additional turn. The violent procs, right? I mean, obviously they're focusing. Ooh, there you go. Miho. Get some of that immunity up in pack speed. Oh, nice stun. <laughs> there we go. Right here. Miho's gonna solo this probably. <laughs> Oh, the glancing though. There you go. Trico's got you. Ooh, they're crit. That's the thing about Miho, right? You can have like 10% curry and you might still crit her. <laughs> Defense break and Miho to finish. GG's. All right, and let's see with this one, we have Bastet to Hathor Ragdoll. Ragdoll, he's what I see a lot of too in like higher up ones, right? And Nephi. There you go, that's probably a good. <laughs> and we're going speed with defense. And nice, got that immunity. But Bastet's gonna go ahead and buff up. Take it on Chiwu. And got this. Ooh, got this done on one of them. There you go, Miho. And that's a nice stun too. Got the sleep. There you go. Getting rid of that beast rider. Or trying to anyway. <laughs> there you go, stun from Miho. Yeah, Hathor's dead. Oh, and then there's Chiwu. Oh no. 
Miho, you got this. Essentially, you just need like a non crit on her and then. Uh... Oh no, yeah, she's. She sold this probably not yet. <laughs> so that's it for today's video featuring Miho and RTA. <laughs> So comment down below your experiences with dealing with her in RT and let me know how that's gone. <laughs> if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. So bye for now. Next level.